Hello, darlings. I came upon an interesting article on Game Rant the other day that I think is interesting for us to go through and just explore what it speculates in regards to the mysteries that Dragon Age 4 needs to solve as the writer Charlie Stewart deems it. Some of these mysteries we've already explored together and some of them we can potentially uh, bookmark to explore further in the future. So it reads, Dragon Age Inquisition hinted at some of the biggest mysteries in Thedas and now Dragon Age 4 is going to need to solve those mysteries. Not just Inquisition, Tevinter Knights also. Like Gilan Nain's monsters, Dragon Age 4 will be the first in the series to truly pick up its plot from where the last game left off. At the end of Inquisition, players learned that their companion Solas was in fact the Dread Wolf. Yes, he aims to tear down the veil between Thedas and the Fade. Yes, this is going to be a dramatic reading. <laughs> between Thedas and the Fade, this author gets Thedas correct. Restoring the elves to their full power and allowing them to rebuild their lost empire. Based on the trailers, the Dread Wolf will be the main villain of the new game. With, with, I, 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 uh, <laughs> I, I, I suspect it will be more of a choice like Samara versus Morinth in Mass Effect 2. Solus versus someone else, or we can destroy him, or we can try to redeem him. He can help us, he cannot help us. Uh, I think there are a lot bigger issues at hand, you know, uh, titan sized issues at hand, the light tainted titan sized issues at hand, at hand, at hand especially if Blight Tainted Titan, as I ranted about previously, drinks from the Great Pools of Liquid, you know? I personally think that Solus is actually the least of our worries right now. Anyway, go continuing with Bioware also introducing a new protagonist. Yes, no magic hand. The Dread Wolf storyline is far from the only plot thread that needs resolution in Dragon Age 4, however, yes. Yes! <laughs> Inquisition hinted that the answers to some of the biggest questions in the series were just around the corner. To Venture Knights also. Here's every major mystery set up by Inquisition that Dragon Age 4 needs to answer and the hints that players have been given so far. The origin of the Kunari. Yes, and I'm exploring this as well. It's very mysterious. The Kunari seems set to have a big role in Dragon Age 4. Yes, especially established into Winter Nights because of the Kunari invasion, especially into Antiva. The Kunari versus the Antivan Crows, that's going to be something major. Trespasser, Inquisition's final DLC, saw the Kunari attempt to use the Illuvians to assassinate the nobility of Southern Thedas in the Dragon's Breath conspiracy. Big two for the Kunari invasion. It was also established in Tevinter Nights that the Kunari retook one of the Imperium cities they held years before during the Kunari Wars. Yes, Karinus, which became Ventus, now retaken by the Kunari, keeps going, keeps exchanging hands, Kunari and Tevinter. If you look back at some of the history and lore videos I've done, and not just that, the Kunari basically brainwashing one of the Talons to turn on his own to eliminate the other Talons so that the Kunari could have an easier time invading Antiva because the Kunari know that the Talons, the Antivan Crows, they're the real military, they're the real body protecting the entity protecting Antiva. So there, there's that as well. Turning all captured mages within into mindless slaves. Yeah, in uh, three minutes to midnight. Also, the other thing with the Kunari is that, as, as we've discussed in the past, the Antam and the Ben Haswa, there's discord going on within the Kunari. So it's starting to be fractured. And we saw Gat being willing to work with a Vint so there, there's definitely with a renewed focus on the kunari and the game taking place in tevinta uh, mostly 
nearer to the Kunari Island nation of Parvolin, and not to mention Saharan, than ever before, it seems likely fans will finally get to know more about the race's strange origins. Until Inquisition, fans had little to go on. That's true. It was known that in the Steel Age, the Kunari arrived from an unknown land to the north and took Parvolin before conquering much of northern Thedas. And then they made their way to Estwatch to invade the Free Marches. But where exactly they came from remains unknown. We know that the Kossith were the original Kunari, but we don't know if they were the experiment or, the, or they were used for the experiment. And we don't know if it's the Vince, we don't know if it's the Evanuris who created the Kunari. Anyway, but where exactly they came from remains unknown. Inquisition left some major hints. The game's main villain, Corypheus, hinted that he knew something about the origins of the Kunari, implying that they may not have evolved naturally when he describes the Kunari Inquisitor as a mistake. That's why I'm more inclined to think that it's the Vince wouldn't put past them, like I've said before, blood magic and everything. Iron Bull also hints that the Kunari may have gained their gray skin and horns by mixing their blood with dragon blood. And Corypheus adds that a Kunari Inquisitor's blood is engorged with decay. What does that mean? Like decay. That's not even paint, you know? decay. So undead were used? Like what was used? Necromancer magic with blood mint? Like what was used? Iron Bull also mentions that the Kunari are now likely quite different from the Kossif, the race who created the Kuhn and became the Kunari. Okay, so then, you know, I was musing that maybe the Kossif were the experiment, but they the Kossith are the original Kunari from which the Kune originates. The Kossith could have been used as the experiments to create the Kunari. Whatever the truth may be, Dragon Age 4 seems to be setting up greater hostilities with the Kunari and could reveal where they really came from. Yes, it would be interesting to find out where they come from. I'm not sure that's going to be part of because the major plot point with the Kunari is their invasion. So we'll see. The origins of the Darkspawn. Yes. Dragon Age Origins opens with an account of the Darkspawn's origins that roughly matches the account given by the Androstian Chantre in Universe. It claims that the Magister side wheel of Tevinta, of the Tevinta Imperium, breached the veil using blood magic, entering the Fed and the Maker's Golden City. Yes, I have to do that face. This act of hubris turned the Maker's Golden City into the Black City and led him to curse Thedas with the blights until his word was chanted from all corners of pain of the world as there is but one life one death one world there is but one god and he is our maker that chanter in origins is dr chakwas corypheus was one of the majesty i i I'm, I'm still playing millie i keep expecting her to start chanting corypheus was one of the magister's side reel the conductor of silence, bound to do what? Dragon of silence. And one of the first dark spot. But in Inquisition, he claims that while the Magister did enter the Golden City, they found the throne of the Maker empty when they got there. And apparently it was already tainted with the blight. It was no longer golden. So I'm thinking of Aeneas, when Solus Lock them up, you know, the Eternal City is probably the same thing as the Golden City as I've speculated in the past. This raises huge questions about who or what transformed the Magisters into Darkspawn. You know, they were cast back down, was the Blight Tainted Titan, was it tainted before then? You know, Andruil came from the void, explore the void, if it comes from the void, you know, like it, all these theories that tie in, you know, the Vince, the dwarves, the Kunari, the Andrasin, like everything like, and I'm pretty sure it all dates back to the Avignuris. 
personally, it wouldn't surprise me. And if the maker exists at all, I do have that video, 10 beings the maker could be. So I'll, I'll link it if anyone wants to watch slash rewatch that of who the maker could be if the maker exists at all. It could have been the Evanuris, for example, with the ancient elven gods that Solus trapped in the Fade, taking revenge against Taventa for destroying the Empire. The answer is likely to have huge implications for Solus's plan to bring down the veil between Thedas and the Fade. Yeah, I, I, Solus is the least of our worst. It should also impact the Grey Wardens who take on the Dark Spontane in order to battle the Blights, but are therefore inherently connected to the creatures. Yes, yes, and we know what happens to people tainted, what they are attracted to. Pools, gray liquid. Bioware did release some new Grey Warden concept art, and a renowned focus on the Wardens only makes a reveal about the truth behind the Darkspawn seem more likely. Yeah, and we have speculated who the first Warden could be, and some of you mentioned that the first Warden, the title, the first warden, the leader of all great wardens, that the first, first warden could have been one of the Magister's side wheels. I'm not sure if the first warden is still a Magister's side wheel existing today from way back then, but how did they discover the secret of knowing how to defeat Darkspawn? They must have had inside sources a Darkspawn, you know, uh, which is something I'm liking more and more as a theory. I'm more and more partial to this theory that the first First Warden was a Magister side wheel. Is the current First Warden still a Magister side wheel? That remains to find out. Will we find out in Dragon Age 4? That, that also remains to, to be seen. The Executors. The identity, those from across the sea, yes. The identity of the executors is one of the biggest mysteries set up by Inquisition and Tevinter Knights and that amazing concept art. But as a result, it is also one of the most likely to be resolved. That, that came out a bit like um, Magister Pelena. But as a result, in Inquisition, symbols begin appearing all over the Inquisition's bases. They are left by the Executors, a mysterious group that represents unknown powers across the seas. Depending on player choices, an entire fort's worth of Inquisition agents may disappear, with the Executors delivering the Inquisitor a note claiming that those agents voluntarily left to serve a higher cause. <laughs> That's my Magister Helena from my <laughs> recreations of Orlesian theatre. Into Winter Nights, an executor appears, but not only are they hooded, the voice is said to evade identification by age or gender. One piece of Dragon Age 4 concept art has shown a figure with a strange flame-like energy coming from their face, which could be an executor companion. The exec- well, no, wait, no, the flame, that's Audric, that's Navara stuff, that's Necromancer stuff, the flame is, <laughs> sorry to interrupt you, Magister Pelena. <laughs> the, the, the veil flame face, I believe, could potentially be Audric from Tevinter Knight's Necromance spirit in a skeletal body. But there are executors in the short stories that came out December. Then there's the concept art. There was more concept art with triangular symbols of the executors. But what the writer here is referring to, I believe, more is Audric, not an executor. But another companion could be an executor. The executor's identity and their goals are among the most likely mysterious to be resolved in Dragon Age 4. Yeah, so it, it, I mean, it's quite possible, you know, it's, it's a small hint, it's a small plot line, more like a side 
plot line. So probably in terms of backstory, a new faction entering and a backstory for characters, companions, allies, or enemies. Red Lyrium. Despite mining Lyrium for generations, most of the dwarves of Thedas have never seen red Lyrium before it starts appearing in nodes across Thedas in Inquisition. Bianca Davri. Yes, I'm not a fan. A dwarf and the namesake for Varric's famous crossbow discovers that red lyrium is lyrium which has been affected by the dark spawn taint. And she gives access to Corypheus, you know? Like it starts to spread. But I'm starting to think more and more, is the reason why the concept art and the in-game, in-progress videos that they've shown us with Red Lyrium. It looks like Red Lyrium spreading, but it looks different than Red Lyrium veins, normal Red Lyrium veins. It also looks an awful lot like something that could have drunk from the pools of gray, gray liquid. Like what I'm speculating could be happening. Is it really happening? Like did the blight tainted Titan already drink? from those pools and transform into a, a hideous monster. Anyway, moving along. <laughs> along with its strange blood vessel-like structure, this seems to suggest that Red Lyrium may be alive in some way. Yeah, it's the Descent DLC, it's the blood of Titan, Titan blood. With Lyrium inherently connected to the Fade, it could even be the life force of a being in the Fade expressing itself on Thedas. So, Blight Tainted Titan, does it have a connection to the Fade type thing? Like, do Titans have connection to the Fade? You know, I, the taint probably comes from the Evan years, but, you know. With Solus preparing to tear down the veil, the true nature of Lyrium could soon be exposed once and for all. He might not even get a chance to tear it down. It might get delayed again. He might tear it down in 5, in Dragon Age 5. Who knows? Who knows at this point? There's so many plot lines. With the very fabric of reality on the line, Dragon Age 4 has the potential to pull back the curtain on some of the series' greatest mysteries so far. Of course, Dragon Age 4 is in development for unspecified platforms. Well, we know it's going to be the next gen the new gen, and the usual platforms. So, yes. Yes, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now I think of it like, did did it already drink from that? Like, like, oh dear, like, oh dear, oh dear. I'm gonna go on another rant about it. Like, somebody stop me now. And let me know if you, <laughs> I know I've started doing more of these with, the, with a dramatic voice or whatever. Let me know if you like the Magister Pelinor voice for some, or like, or if you prefer more my normal voice <laughs> with a dramatic reading. <laughs> I don't know what character that is with the with the face, the weird face voice. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments below. I'll put a link to this article from Game Rant by. Charlie Stewart, published on August 4th. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to be Jimmy approved. And I'll see you all, so we will, s hey, okay, camera's there. We will see you all soon. Maseranas. Maseranas. Okay, I need to stop playing with my toy. <laughs> If you're new here and you like my content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Like it if you like it, for the like it if you like it dance. You can also follow my website, binkyproductions.com, where I post everything from all my channels. Exclusive! If you want to support me, consider buying my book, Stardust Destinies 1, Variant Facing, Magic, Dragons, Fantasy, all relevant links below. Thank you so much for your time. Your continued viewership is very much appreciated. Maseranas.